All right, so this is the last update for this character UI tutorial that we just actually finished. And yeah, it actually looks pretty good. So we jump, hop in here and play. We added sound effects. You can change the name as well. Actually, I set Severog's name to be a little too big, so we'll just call him Creepy Joe. Okay. I have to probably lower the font on this. These numbers can be adjusted. Sound effects. There's a prompt up here. You can also go like that. Now the taunts are supposed to work, but I actually can't figure out what is wrong with the the audio for it. And I also messed up on the colors because you know it's RGB, so hard to tell the difference between them. <sighs> Oh yeah, see, these voices work, so it's, I don't know, I think it's just the problem with the tutorial that I have. That was a little long. And these work, there's auto move, actually let me turn that off. So, yep. Now I do now we do have auto move. And then the table I imported from also just had like it didn't import all the data, so I had to manually enter everything and I just wanted it to be lazy, so I just like typed all that manual stuff. Oh yeah, and the icons are different here. I don't have a controller, but the controllers do work if I wanted to toggle between them. And let's see. Where is auto move speed? Let's just set the auto move to like something small. And then here, you know, I'm actually just auto moving. I have to actually make the floor bigger, but I didn't want to uh, compile. And then on the upper left corner, it's just a very basic health system where he's regenerating health. So overall, it looks, oops, it looks really nice. You know, so, you know, when I go and buy the Battle Royale template from the UE4 marketplace, you know, it's still, it's going to have a lot of defaults in, but the funk based functionality will still look pretty good. And, you know, obviously with this UI course, now I actually know how to actually make a pretty decent looking UI. So at least the game will look kind of all right. And I don't know if, you know, which character models I want to put in first. You know, the first, my first concern is just to simply get the game working and then see if, you know, you can create a server and then join that. Eventually, I'll have to pay a, a Unreal multiplayer to uh, mentor, which I can find on Fiverr. He charges, I think, $60 an hour. And then I think he might be able to, and then I think he should be able to teach me how to convert it into a queue system like every other Battle Royale game. So, and then eventually when I do start getting to work and have a pretty decent workflow... You know, I'll actually stream, at least for a while, you know, the development of the game. And then we'll see what happens. Alright, so, yeah, I named him the guy. Alright, so this will probably be the last video, at least until... I don't know, I think maybe I might do a live stream. Exploring the, you know, Battle Royale template, and then uh, go from there. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next developer video. Thanks.